Whoa, look at these dudes. Hey, <laughs> welcome to the Tater Museum show. This Wait is going to be. I got to look at these guys. This is going to all be about couch potatoes. And here's Mr. Couch Potato himself, <laughs> Tom Hughes. Hi. So this is a potato. A potato is a tuber. And the tubers are actually the underground st uh, stem where the potato stores all of its uh, nutrients that it doesn't need so that it can grow a new potato in, um, after the winter. And so, what does this have to do with couches? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> America wants to know. So uh, uh, in America, we refer to televisions as tubers or tuber. No, the tu tube. What do we say? We say the tube. The TV is a tube. Yeah, the, the TV person is a tube watching it is sometimes something is called a tuber or Bob Armstrong. You can see a picture of him and his friends here. Oh, there's uh, Bobby. Some One of his of friends those. were prolonged TV watchers, and he referred to them as his couch potatoes. And there is a and, couch in that picture, right. see? Right, so... Bob Armstrong uh, sort of capitalized on this, uh, hot, uh, his couch potatoes, and he developed with his friends a series of books, publications for members, because they had a membership thing. So you would get a membership card here, and you, would get, you could get buttons. And when was this, Tom? This was in the 80s. Very, very ah. popular... Okay. Movement. Look, couch potatoes don't do it. They'd rather watch. What's this mean, by the way? What's the their motto, slogan? Yeah. Sic semper potatum reclinus. Thus always the potato reclines. Look at that old TV. We yeah. don't even have those anymore. Exactly. Do do well. So this, they did several books. This is the Couch Potato Guide to Life. Better Living Through Television. Notice it's the size of an old uh, TV guide. Uh, <laughs> if anybody remembers that. And here he's in great, he's uh, endorsed it to Tom, Meredith, and Gulliver. Behold the noble tuber. Stay tuned, Elder Bob Armstrong, because the founders of the couch potato movement were all considered elders, and the rest of us. There were all sorts of, of, um, of lodges that they had. And I want to just show you over uh, here. Uh, uh, there's the Barbie couch potato. <laughs> I want to show you over here. Okay, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. So you could become a member. You would get the newsletter. You could buy all these products, including. And then they started um, trademarking and endorsing. This was the couch potato game, which they endorsed. And then here's the um, couch potato doll series from Coleco that they. Um, this was the sweet potato, sweet couch potato. This was the original oh. one that they had. We have all these. These are the little little um, baby small fry they called them so that was but with all these dolls on the couch where did one sit <laughs> right anyway here's a letter they got from uh bob armstrong he's got his logo the the couch potatoes and he says uh yes it looks like we're entering the age of couch potatoes all right naturally the infringements pirates and knockoff artists smell money and create big headaches for me. Bogus t-shirts are all over the place and I've been going after them. The couch potato game is authorized, the tall is well. Ironically, all these business dealings keep me from watching TV. Oh! The supreme sacrifice shows you what bare-faced greed will do. Uh, keep the horizontal held, Bob Armstrong. So they also had, this was, this was wonderful. It got so popular, and there were people all over the country who were members of this movement, the couch potato movement. They had a um, a uh, conference, concave in Chicago, um, a big congress where the people came and they had all sorts of events all weekend long, which is ironic because you think of people who are committed to uh, couch potato TV, prolonged TV viewing, would not have to make such an effort to get to Chicago. That's why that calling it a movement is amusing, because couch potatoes do not move from That's right. the couch. So anyway, we're going to, oh, so we're going to do a, a, a second video to talk about how this whole couch potato movement um, exploded. So look forward to that. Thanks for tuning in to the Potato Museum Show. See you next time. Stay on your couch. <laughs> right.